Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are connecting from. If you are joining me from Africa, from Asia, from Europe, from America, or from Australia, I thank you very much for your contributions on my channel. Please always leave your comments after watching my video. Leave a thumbs up. Go to the comment section at all times. Just say it the way you feel it. However you think, whatever you think is the way forward. Do it. Say it. I learn a lot from the comment section. That is the way I communicate with you. That is the way I hear your opinion and know what you think about the whole situation. And for those who have not subscribed, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. And also, share the video with everybody that needs to hear our voice. Don't be stingy with the video. Share it in any platform where you belong. After watching, you share. Share with your friends and family. Tell them to share also so that people will hear our voice and know how we feel about what is going on. It is not well. If anybody tells you that it is well in that contraption called Nigeria, it is not well. Nobody is finding it easy or funny. The contraption called Nigeria has come to destroy, to kill, and to take the life of everybody. That is why we are calling for the breakup of that contraption. And we will continue to call for the breakup until it's been broken into pieces. It doesn't matter what they do, they must be rejoicing. Some by rejoicing, they have arrested our supreme leader, Mazen Nandekano. That will not stop us from talking. It will not stop the struggle and it will not stop us from moving forward to request for that which is right. Human rights is the right of everybody. We all human has a right to demand for that which is right. And that is what we are doing. Demanding for referendum. That call for referendum will continue to be louder than ever now. We are asking for a referendum for us to decide our fate. As you all know, the insecurity in Nigeria is growing more higher and higher. And now, the government is ready to unleash terror in all the indigenous people of that very country called Nigeria. When we all come out here and tell you that the government of Nigeria is a terrorist government, some of you don't believe us. They think it's a joke. Some of you th think it's, a, it's just a, a mere a propaganda. It is not propaganda and neither is it a joke. Everything we say about Nigerian government is what they are doing. Nigerian government is a government of terrorists. And they have decided to unleash terror on the indigenous people of that country called Nigeria. You can see what is playing out. When Mazen Nandekan was arrested the first time, when his home was invaded, nobody said anything. People were going about their businesses as if nothing happened because it is Mazen Nandikam, because it is Southeast, because it's about the Igbos. That is what they thought. But today, what is playing out? It is not about the Igbos. I have always said it on my videos that whatever trouble that is going on in Nigeria is not even about the South or not. It is not about anybody. It is about every indigenous tribe in that very country from called Nigeria. We are all in trouble in the hand of foreigners. The Fulani Janjaweed, they are foreigners and they have invaded Nigeria and taken charge. Nigerians have mistakenly voted Fulanis into power and now Fulanis are in charge of every affairs in that very country called Nigeria and they are willing to do everything to destroy all the indigenous people of that very country called Nigeria and take over. That is exactly what they are doing to the government. The government of Nigeria is the government of Fulanis. The military we have is a military of Fulanis. And they are doing everything possible to make sure they suppress the indigenous people. It happened to Mazen Nandekano. Nobody said anything. People were going about their business. They thought it was about Mazen Nandekano. Some came out and said Mazen Nandekano was making too much of trouble. He was talking too much. Some came out and said he's making noise. What happened today? Today, they are going after Sunday Bowo. Sunday Bowo, whom people are seeing as somebody who is peaceful, he has not killed anybody, he has not challenged anybody, has not taken any life, has not threatened anybody. He's not even talking on media, not talking anywhere. But what is happening today? What is happening today? The home of Sunday Bowo was invaded. A lot of havoc caused in the house of Sunday Bowo, lives lost. Lives lost. They arrested people, took them, and we are bold enough to come and make a press conference with people they abducted from the home of Sondibo. What did they do? They decided to bring their AK-47 to frame them up, line up AK-47 and bullets. You think those people they hold there have such things in position in their own position, and they will allow you to just walk in, just walk in and begin to kill and shoot. And they did not encounter any casualty on their own side. 
Because they are spirit or what? You see lies. Government that is living on lies. On lies and propaganda. Remember what Abaribe told him in the house. That he who lives with propaganda will die by propaganda. Let them continue. But I'm only sorry for those indigenous people of that very Nigeria who are supporting this evil government. You are keeping silent because it is not about you. Today is Sunday, Bobo. Who knows who it will be tomorrow? Now they have declared Sunday, Bobo wanted. The DSS of Nigeria have declared Sunday, Bobo wanted. What is their plan? They want to kill him by all means possible. What has Sunday, Bobo done? Sunday, Bobo did nothing. He has not committed any crime. Only thing he was asking is to defend his people. And he was asking for their legitimate right, which is that same referendum we are talking about. Referendum, self-determination for the Yorubas. How is that a crime? How is that a crime? Sunday Bowo only volunteered himself because his people were being killed. And the government was doing nothing, nothing about it. The governors were silent about it. The government, governors said we are playing it down, playing it low. Nobody was doing it until Sunday Bowo came up and took it upon himself to defend his people. And the funniest thing is that the people who are chasing Sunday Bowo are the same people that came out on the media and asked us to defend ourselves. Maybe you have forgotten. When the Minister of Defense came out and told us not to be coward, that we should all embrace ourselves and defend ourselves, why are we running away? Maybe you have forgotten. Watch the video once again. Is it the responsibility of the military alone? Is the responsibility of everybody to keep alert and find safety when necessary? But we shouldn't be cowards. At times, the banditry will come only come with about three rounds of ammunition when they fire shot everybody runs in our younger days we stand to fight any aggression coming to us i don't know why people are running away from my mano 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 thing like that they should stand and let this uh, let these people know that even the villagers they have the competence and capability to defend themselves but our own duty is to ensure no nigeria is hurt and we are capable of pretend, uh, protecting the integrity of this nation. And I will continue to do it even though we are so stretched. Are you supporting the use of firearms by the citizens? It's an issue where probably even in the developed countries, they are still debating on it whether to continue or not. But I don't advise Nigeria to start using firearms for personal use. This was the video that the Defense Minister of Nigeria issued that we should defend ourselves and stop waiting for the military. And now, Sunday Bowo rose up to defend his own people. What did they do? They have now declared him wanted. He went to his house and killed as many people as they can. Destroyed all his properties. Recently, we saw a governor, a governor, governor, a governor of uh, what, what state? One governor in the north, I've forgotten his state, came out and he was also telling his people, defend yourself, do not wait for the military, that the military have been overstretched. Defend yourself. Use every means to defend yourself. It is time, based on what uh, Professor Kurfi has said and what I know they have been doing, to call on all of us as citizens of Kazina State to see what can we do. I think the error, like he said, of sitting accusing the federal government, accusing the military, accusing the police, accusing the government, accusing the local government, accusing the traditional institution is over and should be over. Security is our responsibility. Why are we surrendering our responsibility to some people? I cannot see how more committed a police officer or a military officer can be more than any one of you. Why should I sit in my village, Kazina, Masari, sorry, in my village, and be only making telephone calls? without doing nothing. Every bandit, every criminal, 
has an address, has a location. And there are human beings like us. The only difference is that they have taken arms against us. Does it mean we have nothing to take against us, against them? Do you mean that we should vacate all our villages, all our farms, all our houses, and surrender them to bandits, and wait for our police officer, General Emeka, all the way from Enugu to come to Kaduna and they rescue me? This is ridiculous. Why? Look, I think part of also what uh, this Katana initiative needs to do is to go around to all these local government. Let us talk to the people. Defend yourself. Are you telling me if you hear somebody breaking your door, you won't steal your property, you will go under the bed and wait for him you can see? And it's better to confront him either way. Either you die, all of you, or you succeed. Kumara unga kete a kashe kawurin tsara abin da yake hakkin ka jihadi ne. Tsoro kuma ba hujja ba ce. Kuma ba an ce ba na ka kuna bakin waje bane? Yo ina ka dan suke ne? Ko ne yanzu abun ya lalace ne? Look it is time for all of us to come out. The security agencies that are here, how many are they? This problem is not only in Katana. It's all over the country, like uh, Professor Bashir has said. Because we have failed to do what we are supposed to do, that's why the military are in now. That's why the airports are in now. But if we do what is right, I think we should limit them their constitutional responsibility. The protection of territorial integrity of this country. We are overstretching members of the armed forces. We are overstretching the police. We are expecting them to do more than as if they are not human beings like us. I think it is time, not only for us in Kaduna, for this country, for all of us, to put our country first. Like uh, Professor Bashir said, a bandit or an armed robber does not ask you your membership card of a political party. He doesn't ask you which mosque you pray or which church you go. So this issue, there is no really political leverage or advantage anybody think he can take on this situation. I think we should learn a lesson. We have been battling with this for the last six years, at least when we came into office. But it has been in existence since 2010. Why has it not abated? It means there is something we are not doing correctly. We are not involving everybody. We sit in the comfort of our houses and seek the policeman who is posted to Kapur local government. Kapur local government has over 200 villages. How many policemen have you sent to my local government? So you don't, you don't have the manpower, you don't have the capacity. And the challenges of equipment, this is a reality. Since we know this, I think the era of uh, blaming the military Blaming the police is over. If there's any failure, we should blame ourselves now for not doing what we are supposed to do. I think we need to involve everybody. Everybody should be a security officer. We always say the police in developed countries are doing better. They are doing better because everybody is a policeman himself. He watches his neighbor. If he sees anything wrong, he quickly phone this uh, center. I am seeing this and this and this, which are unusual here. But when you don't give police information, when you don't give the military information, you can't blame them. When you see a bandit going this way, when the policeman or anybody comes, you say, ah, he has gone this way. An informant is worse than a bandit. 
So the punishment of informant should, if there's more severe punishment, the informant should give them more than the bandit himself. For those of you that you have sacrificed your time, your resources, to be part of Katina Community Security Initiative, we cannot thank you enough. Only God will reward you. Because you can safely say, I am here because of the oath of office I have taken. I have to do what I am doing because I will be accountable in this world and the year after. But you can decide. You say, what? I have retired. It's not my responsibility. Like you said, some groups. But you know, whatever God has given you, you will account for it. Even good health, you will account for it. How did you use it for the benefit of mankind? So I think there's a lot of work which we need to do in sensitizing people. Because for a very long time, we have only been believing the police, the military, they are not doing enough. Are not doing enough. I think we have blamed them enough. Let us now look inwards. And I assure you, and anybody who has come forward or who will come forward with any suggestion that will improve the security of this state, is our partner and we will partner with him or with them. We welcome And those who are defending themselves, Sondi Bowo, who is defending his people, today is being declared wanted. They went to his house and killed two innocent people, destroyed the properties, took his wife, abducted his wife because he was defending himself and defending his people. Because he was defending his people. He was ready to defend his people. They went after him. What does that tell you? We are not in the same country. These people are not seeing us the way they see themselves. When they call, up, call on people to defend themselves, they are referring to the northerners, not the southerners. The southerners cannot defend themselves in their own eyes. That is exactly what it means. The southerners cannot defend themselves. It is only the north that should rise up and defend themselves. And when they call the right, the north to defend themselves, who are they calling? They are calling the bandits to defend them. That is why the terrorist group have marched themselves together. The bandits and terrorists have marched themselves together in the north today, defending the northern part of Nigeria. And they are okay with it and happy with it. I see silent, looking as if it's business as usual. Sorry for you. Today is Sunday, Bobo. Tomorrow it's going to be your turn. Be laughing and smiling. Oh, they are going after Sunday, Bobo. We told him not to stop, to stop, and he's doing it. Don't worry. It doesn't matter if you're a politician. It doesn't matter how rich you are. It doesn't matter how poor you are. It doesn't matter how connected you are. They will come after you. They will come after you. Sunday, Bobo is not going to be the last person. They are in the southeastern part of Nigeria intimidating people, taking lives on a daily basis. The southeastern Nigeria has been fighting for a very long time. Some people kept silent as if they don't know what is happening. They don't care. Our Odudua brothers has come up to air their opinion and fight for their safety. Now the government is coming after them. Killing innocent people. Yet, some people are laughing about it. They don't want to air their opinion. Some people feel, just take it as if it's normal. It will come to your own doorstep. Just wait for a little time. It will come to you. It, it doesn't matter how long it takes. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter whom you are. They are coming for you. So long you are for the south eastern, southern part of Nigeria. If you are from southern part of Nigeria and you are supporting this evil that is happening, you are going about it. It doesn't concern you. You are not a Dudua or you are not Biafra. It doesn't concern you. It's going to come to your doorstep. So long you are living in the southern part of Nigeria, they see you as a Bowo. They see you as an Adikano. They see you as a... For those of you who think that it's a joke, that what's happening is a joke, it is not a joke. It is going to get worse very soon. It's going to get worse. That is why everybody has to embrace themselves and come together in the south. So long you are from the southern part of Nigeria, you need to come together. Come together now and speak on one voice and demand for your rights. We should to protect Mazen Nandekano. We should continue to strengthen Mazen Nandekano wherever he is. We should send his angels to guide and protect Mazen Nandekano. Mazen Nandekano must see Biafra. He must lead us into Biafra. 
Mazin Nandikano must lead us into Biafra. He has suffered a lot. He has given up everything for you and I to be free. And we will always be free. Biafra is here. We are at the end of the road. Biafra is free. As Mazin Nandikano has spoken, Biafra is here already. We are waiting when Biafra will be pronounced. And we will march into Biafra with Mazin Nandikano. Thank you so much for watching wherever you are watching from. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. Join me all the time and say your own views. Say it the way you feel it. Thank you and remember this. Bye bye. See you again on the next video.